This is your daily tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Happy Monday, guys. Um, I want to give a shout out before we start the reading to Misunderstood. You sent me this phenomenal card and this awesome deck, right? The Rebel deck, which is a great deck. Um, I'm so grateful because... You, I mean, I so, I'm so grateful because you just sent it out of the goodness of your heart and your message meant a lot to me today. Um, it's like it, hi, Melzy. It like, it, it's like it came to me just at the right time. So I'm very, very grateful. Really, it cannot be understated. Thank you so much. Um, it's funny how, because I don't, I don't check my, um, I don't check my, um, um, my post office box a lot because I don't receive a lot of mail in there. But um, I had to go to the post office today to send out my my son's uh, birthday gift. And I, uh, what's up, Soy? Um, and it was um, Iristidov, Iristidov? If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, and, I, and I had to go check it and it, it just came at the right time because my heart needed a little bit of a hug today. And so I'm really grateful. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, this is your daily tarot card reading. It's for all signs. It's for everybody who wants to hop on, join on, listen. If you're finding this on Astrology Motivation, thank you. Please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I hope that these videos help you every single day. And if you want to join me live, you can find me on Instagram, born underscore without underscore boundaries. I also have a TikTok, born without boundaries. <laughs> like pretty much born without boundaries like right across the board. That's pretty much me. Um, um, yeah, and a great way to help the channel is always to like it and share it. Um, I think you can do it on Instagram too. So um, I'm always grateful for you guys. So thank you so much. Today is Monday. It is the 14th and ain't that some shit <laughs> i mean stop we are halfway through the sixth month of the year where i don't know where the time is going good news is tomorrow june 15th in california is supposed to be bam mask free um if you can prove that you're vaccinated it's supposed to uh we're supposed to hi oh thank you so much on Mimi's, thank you. Um, I actually love that 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 name. Um, yeah, thank you so much. So yeah, so the fifteenth tomorrow is supposed to be mask free. So really looking forward to this. Love you too, Angelic. Angelic alive well. Angelica live well. That makes more sense. You know that you guys know I have a trouble trouble reading these. So I'm, I appreciate your uh, your your patience with me because, oi. Um, yeah, it's like, hello, 40, as soon as, it's like, as soon as 40 hit, and it hit almost three years ago for me now, all of a sudden, I was like, I couldn't, like, <laughs> so, it just sucks, to be honest, it fucking sucks, but, uh, thank you so much, um, yeah, so, mask-free, woo, but today is flag day, she's a grand old flag, she's a high-flying flag, that's what today is, so, happy flag day, um, the color of the day is lavender, which is actually a really beautiful color for healing. And it's also a beautiful color for romance, um, interestingly enough. Um, all right. Uh, the moon is in Leo. Where is the moon? The moon is in Leo. The moon is in Leo until tomorrow afternoon. So um, we can expect, appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much, man. I'm so, yeah, and Scorpio's coming out. It's coming now tomorrow. Scorpio comes out with Sagittarius and Libra. I always love doing Scorpio because I, I feel so connected to Scorpio. And I feel like I can be brutally honest, you know. Um, I actually love doing them all. Um, they're a happy spot for me. They're a happy place for me. Um, yeah. I, and I thank, I wanted to say thank you, everybody, to um, for ordering your um, uh, extended, not extended readings. Extended readings are the heartbeat of the channel. So if you get a chance, please do. They're like $10 to rent, $11 to buy. And um, um, I'm, just, I'm just really grateful to have people support the channel that way. I'd rather people support the channel that way than donations, to be honest with you, because 
you get something. You get something and the readings are fantastic. And you know, the content I create means a lot to me and it matters. And um, I, I, I love the extended readings. I mean, um, for, let's put it this way, for more than monetary reasons, I wish everybody saw the extendeds because um, I, think they're, I think they're an essential aspect of the readings. So um, you can go over there to Vimeo. I have, oh, I mean, I think almost a thousand videos on Vimeo now um, and, and, and peruse through the library and find one that actually calls to you. Um, um, yeah, so anyway, I, uh, I want to get into this reading. I want to get into just the reading in general. I'm really curious to see what comes out today. Um, let's go. Let's get into it. You ready? Okay. Spirit, what do you have to tell us? What do we need to know? What do you want to say to us? Um, so there's um, something very passionate. <clears throat> very passionate. A message. Very passionate messages. Maybe this was in, in the past. But this is having a lot of passion, having a lot of conviction, but also in some ways maybe being a little too reckless with that passion or, or your passion and conviction making you reckless. But once again, now you've taken off. You can't, you can't go back. It's like you may have jumped in, but you're in it for good. And cancer is here. You're going to move forward. You can't move back. And that's all actually, actually also very beautiful. Um, uh, maybe you jumped in too quickly. <laughs> the fool is, yeah, we did something foolish. Um, in terms of networking or making connections, maybe we made foolish connections. Foolish connections sometimes are just, um, um, I don't know. I don't even know that this, I don't even feel like this fool was supposed to be in reverse in some ways. But anyway. Sometimes we just kind of are reckless, you know, maybe reckless in love, who we offered our love to. I don't know. This is new network, new connections. Um, or maybe maybe we're uh, reluctant to jump, jump on board with it. And then we have the three of wands, which is looking out and, you know, maybe seeing the possibilities, seeing the opportunities, seeing the chances. Um, and then we have, but there's somebody very manipulative. This is karma. This is bad karma. Bad karma or lessons that are coming back around to learn about pairing, about relationships. Um, to just help us sort of... This is celebration, though. This is happiness and abundance. Um, but this is somebody that is kind of greedy, to be honest with you. This is a missed opportunity somehow. Um, maybe somebody took an opportunity. Somebody stole your opportunity. Um, even though you did work, you did good work. Um, um, yeah, this just seems to be like a little bit of shadiness. Yeah, some, there, there was shadiness. So, um, oh, I think, okay, so here you have understanding and realizing um, uh, that you there's a way out. There's a little bit of hope um, in all the pain and hurt and, and feeling like, left behind or rejected um and you're gonna find out why figure out why um realize realize why somebody did to you what they did to you um that's yeah that's what's coming in um i'm really curious to see what the uh oracle cards have to say but give me a second with what's on the board right now so we have the knight of wands who heads long, headlong into the fire. And then we have, of course, Cancerian energy with the chariot that can't look back. You just have to look forward. You don't have the option. Interesting enough, it's almost like you just have to decide to love, right? You just have to decide to keep moving forward. Um, this is making a foolish decision, jumping into something too quickly, which these two cards would support, maybe through some sort of networking or communication, right? Um, offering your love, giving your love to somebody. Um, I don't know. I think you had to learn something because that's usually what this is. It's about, it's about, it's about new horizons. 
um, new things on the horizon. And a lot of times it could have to do with education. So there's something coming in, but there's this bad luck, this bad karma. Certainly that has to be cleared away for anything new to come in. Um, this, this could also be immediately, I thought it was the magician. It's not. He's a very tricky person. There's, there's somebody here that was very tricky and deceitful. Um, and then we have four of wands, which is happiness and joy, especially from this direction. Just a, you know, or maybe, I don't know, trying to, trying to celebrate. It's like you celebrated too quickly because there was somebody here that was, that took away the offer as soon as it was made. And then you have, um, you know, job well done, being able to find your way out of this. That's kind of what this is, finding your way out of it, finding that nobody could really take from you anything that was valuable or worthwhile. Um, I think you guys all hopefully watched my weekly astrology forecast, and this week is pretty harsh. It is, um, especially when it comes to romantic relationships. And honestly, anything that isn't meant to last is going to break. Like, because it's just, um, you know, yeah, you can't pretend through this. And anybody who is a pretender, and then I think that that's really what this karmic wheel is. Anybody who is a pretender is going to get called out. Like, it's just, you're just going to see it for what it is. And honestly, I think this is spirit stepping in to help you. You know, some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. Yeah, that's I love that line from the Garth Brooks song. I think it's fantastic. And... And it, it really goes to show you that even though we want it and we might feel it's right for us, God is not against you when he denies it to you. And he's not just trying to teach you a lesson. He's trying to protect you, you know, and, and think of like the footprints in the sand story where you see only one um, set of footprints. I carried you. It, it, that's what's happening right now. So please trust this week is going to be particularly important to have faith um, and know that if if you're suffering and there's pain, um, it's because, and I said this to my friend Darlene today, I said, think of the, think of the imagery of dodging a bullet. <laughs> you may have to eat dirt or connect with the pavement real quick. And that hurts, but it hurts a hell of a lot less than a bullet in your back. You understand? You can take a dive and you can walk away with that pain and walk away from that pain and dust yourself off and you will be okay. A bullet in your back would be much more destructive. If not like life threatening, though it usually is, it's, um, it's a hell of a lot harder to recover. So understand that even though this week God may be asking you to eat a little dirt or, you know, plant your face in pavement, it's so that you dodge that bullet that the universe can see very clearly is coming towards you. Um, and a lot of times we want it so bad, we just deny or don't see that kind of thing coming and and the universe will step in because because you just can't nothing false can survive this week especially in relationships the bottom of the deck is this you got a lot of passion but you don't know what to do with it you know there, there was or you're dealing with somebody who has a lot of passion and just doesn't know what to do with it you know maybe they're maybe them or you you're just trying to get comfortable in your own skin right now it's almost like in some ways somebody is afraid of their own passion they take two steps forward and three steps back because they want to move forward, but then they're scared and they react in fear and they recoil. And this is the kind of energy that can really be hurtful and painful to us. So um, we just have to continue to focus on what we can affect, which is ourselves and what we work on every day and what we can take pride in, right? Because it's very, it's very important to have something solid 
right now to help us emotionally feel like, but we are valuable. We are worth it. You know, even if we have to eat a little dirt when it comes to um, being with somebody or romance, it, we, we can, we can work on something that nobody can take from us, right? What, what work are you doing? Do you love your work? Do you love your job? Do you, or do you love your hobbies? Like where can you lose yourself a, a, for a while in the tangible, in the work that you build, right? And that could be your family, right? So that's kind of what this, this reading is reminding us of. You're going to get everything back. You're going to realize it's, it's okay. You can get everything back, you know, that you feel, felt like was taken from you. Nothing valuable was taken from you. Nothing. So let's get into the Oracle cards. Adjustments are required. And this is usually adjustments toward how you perceive something. How do you see it? Is it half empty or half full? There's a sense of something had to shift or something had to change. And that's true. Something had to shift, something had to change. Maybe something was, somebody wasn't treating you right or you were, not, um, you were not asking somebody to treat you right. Um, or they, they, in some ways you knew you weren't good enough for somebody or they knew they weren't good enough for you. Something had to shift, something had to change because in you, adjustments are re required. Tweaking, um, tweaking the situation, understanding the situation so maybe you can get a better understanding of what you should be looking for, what you should be searching for. A new romantic cycle is beginning and it's in reverse. So that means the relationship was unbalanced or the feeling was imbalanced. The partnerships was, was imbalanced. And that means a new romantic cycle is ending or something is starting before it began. It's like the two of cups in reverse. It was not meant to go long term. And then you have a new start is coming also in reverse. So no, no new starts and surrender to the divine. But that's upright. So um, you kind of got to stop. And, it, and it's probably because the divine knew you were making the same mistakes again. But they stepped in. I told you this week it's going to feel merciless, but it's actually spirit loving you and saying, I'm not going to let you hurt again. I'm not going to let you do this again, right? I'm going to nip it in the butt before it gets out of hand. And that's why it's like, that's why the divine stepped in and said, um, you don't get your new start to this new relate. This isn't it. This isn't it. You're not ready yet. You still have to adjust a little bit. Make some changes. Or other things have to adjust around you. Remember, it's not just you that's in movement and making choices. So there are things that are just, in some ways, they weren't equal. They weren't balanced. And so they weren't worthy. Um, adjustments are required, okay? Um, the waiting game, but that's in reverse. The universe has stepped in to take over. Feels like a disruption. The waiting game, the universe, and disruption. Right now, the universe is a little bit disrupted because of everything in retrograde. And Mercury in retrograde is affecting us every day. Things are just going backwards. Um, this is, like I said, not a good time to push. The, but the universe is, is effectually um, almost like in some ways, like, I guess, vetting things, vetting the quality of things to test and see how worthy they are. Um, maybe how worthy you are, how ready you are yet. Um, it's just really interesting. <sighs> the, 
disruption. They're just, it just, let's put it this way. It, it's not time yet. It, you know what? In some ways it is time. You're not wrong. It is time. But for right now, there's too much disruption for it to kind of like, it's like, it's like the perfect house in a stand sandstorm. You can't see it yet. You know, it's like, it's just, it's the, 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 it's there. It's real. It's true, but you can't get to it or enjoy it just yet. And that's just kind of like what we have to deal with right now. What are the insights though? I think you wanted to jump into something really quickly. Understood. But the universe stepped in to disrupt you and tie you up. So you couldn't do it. Because something's not ready. Something's not ready on the other side. Maybe they're not ready on the other side. Can you give us more insight? Why is everything in reverse? Um, sailing is here, maybe travel, getting away, maybe feeling stuck or somebody's going away soon. Um, or yeah, traveling, uh, maybe by car instead of by, um, sail. So somebody is traveling by car, um, not, uh, to see somebody that they know or to see somebody that they care about. So it's not strangers. Um, but there are barriers. It's almost like you miss somebody that's far away from you. Um, and it's, it's like, it's like the distance between you is the distance between the two of the, oh, you know what this is? It feels like, like somebody still has feelings for, or is trying to fight for a relationship to work out that's at a distance or that has a lot of complications. And that could be a little insight into um, why the opportunity feels on your end like it's been stuck. Because somebody, they're, they're fighting another fight on their end. That's kind of what it is. So it may not, even if it isn't love and romance, it's almost like, you know, you an interview for a job and you think you're, the job is the job of your dreams and that you, you rock the interview and everything seems perfect. And then they don't call you and they're looking at somebody else and the somebody else just doesn't work out or they don't call you because they were looking at somebody else when they interviewed you, you know, and it's like that somebody else situation has to end before they realize, oh my, they find like, I want this person, you know, that happened to me with my job working at Pitney Bowes. I interviewed so many times. Like just, it took so long, but every interview I did, I fucking rocked the interview. And I knew the person on the other side was extremely impressed by me and liked me a lot, but I didn't hear anything. And I was doing it through um, an agency and it took a month for them to even get back to the agency, right? The recruitment agency. And she, they were finally like, they, she was like, she, they just wouldn't tell her any information. And she finally said, um, they decided to go with somebody else who they felt had more experience after all this time waiting. And it was so sad because I was barely making money. I didn't know what I was going to do. I couldn't pay rent. My, my friend had to loan me money to pay rent two months rent. And I really needed that job. That job would have changed my life. And I, I kid you not, about a week after um, the recruiter updated me and told, told me what was going on, she got back to me and said, the candidate fell through. You were the first person that they thought of. They'd like to meet you in person. And I was like, wow. And I went back and um, I got the job and I have never been so happy working for a group of people or with a group of people. And I can still call so many of them my friends to this day. And everybody knows how much I hated working corporate, but I love this team. I never felt so wonderful working at a place as I did when I worked there because of the people I was surrounded by. It was just a magical moment in time and I'm glad I got the experience. Of course, they laid me off a year later, 
But it was also because of them and my strong relationships with them that I got the next job that I got, you know, and it was just like, it was such a wonderful experience. But the point was this, at the, it's like, it's like stuff had to come together on their side. They were still looking in the wrong direction. They were still looking for the wrong qualities. You know, those qualities that you think you're supposed to look for in somebody, but you're not listening to your heart. You're not listening to your soul. You're not listening to what really feels good and feels right, right? You're just going in the same old patterns. Well, guess what? This week, this week right here is going to bust the shit out of those same old patterns. And it's going to make whoever didn't follow their heart feel like a big fat fucking asshole. And they will come crawling back. They will come crawling back. They will come asking back. They will have learned a very important lesson when maybe the person isn't available the next time. You know, I could have accepted another job in the process. They're lucky I didn't because then they would have really lost. And I think, you know what, in some ways they had to go through what they had to go through to really appreciate me and just what I added to the team, you know, my sense of per my personality, my sense of optimism, um, my, my new ideas, my fresh ideas, not the same old, same old, right? Not the uh, stereotypical qualifications, but, but what my, my unique perspective bought. They, in order to see what a beautiful gift that was, they had to have this bad experience with the asshole in between. You know, and, and believe me, if the opportunity is really yours, the universe conspires to make it so. But it doesn't mean that people, two, 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 I love you, angels. It doesn't mean that people aren't still, hey, Teresa, my sister's on everybody. It doesn't mean that people aren't, aren't still making the bad choices based on their bad decisions. It's like, I know my team, I know them well as friends now, but they, you know, were still trying to check the boxes because they had corporate obligations to live up to. And it's like, I got to choose this suit with this degree that has this much of a background instead of being like, but I know this person is going to fucking work. I know she's exactly what we need, but I can't check those boxes so that I, I'm being forced to make these bad decisions by, by this series of bad decisions. And that's why, listen, Saturn, that's what Saturn does when it's in retrograde. It goes back to see, are the laws and the checklists correct? Because they're the ones that are forcing people to continue to make these stupid choices that are not good. We may have to change the rules. And Pluto in retrograde is what is, is this spiritually sound? Is this correct? And I love when, how they go retrograde in similar synchronicity because they work in synchronicity. When Pluto says this is not aligned with spirit and this is not aligned with God, that's when Saturn kicks in and says, okay, uh, we have to readjust the 3D perspective so people can see that. They work in harmony. And then what Mercury does, and Mercury goes like, uh, I think it'll go into retrograde one time more before Saturn and Pluto come out. Um, Mercury delivers those messages to us and it makes us feel the pain or it makes us like hit, get our face hit in the sand. Be like, you know, the, when, when, when my Pitney Bowes team hired the other person, they did it. They ran a background check and he had a, he had a fucking criminal record, <laughs> a violent criminal record. Not to say that you should be judged, I, that I want somebody being judged for their, you know, their crimes for the rest of their life. But they were like, um, okay, we had a feeling. So we're just going to like go with the person we really wanted to go with. And that's what I'm saying is something will be dug up, especially with Pluto in retrograde. Something will be dug up. And with Mercury in retrograde, the message will be delivered. So that you'll know why you can't choose that person that you were supposed to choose. You understand? Like, you'll, you'll get the message. You'll start to realize it. And the universe is not pulling punches. So the last year it was pulling punches. It was beating the shit out of us. didn't care. But now it really wants to make sure we understand why the decisions are being made. That they had, that, 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 why things had to happen in the way they had to happen. So you, if, even if you don't understand now, you will understand. You will understand. Eventually, and probably by the end of this week, if not by the end of this month, 
when Mercury comes out of retrograde. I think it's June 22nd. All right. So we have wisdom, but it's in reverse, which means in some ways we're second guessing what we know. We didn't, we, we didn't, we, we saw somebody, we, we felt something about them. We didn't trust something about them, but we went ahead with it anyway. And we convinced ourselves something was good when it was wrong. And that's why we got our head in the sand, right? Our head in the, in the cement. Trust your intuition, guys. You know where the goodness is. Unconditional love. I know this is, looks like a very romantic card, right? Unconditional love. This is actually the yin and yang. Unconditional love is where is God present? That is truth. You know intuitively where God is present. Okay? And so you have to wait for it. There could be, this could be coming together through a group of friends. Only your heart, your, your heart has to make this decision. This is a path for your heart. Your heart is guiding you in the right direction. But you have to listen to that little voice of God inside of you. Right? Not your ego. Cooperation. Maybe this is going to happen through friends. And that's what we got the two of, two of wands, right? Maybe this has to happen through friends. Maybe you need a third party to intervene, just like I did. I had the recruiter with the Pitney Bowes situation. I had the recruiter to be able to call for me because it was her job to call, right? Instead of me having to call and call, she not only could call for me, she could remind them about how impressed they were with me. She could remind them about my name when... Um, you know, she, she, maybe you just need a third party, right? To get in there and to help you out. And maybe that's what, you know, God is sending you. He's sort of like setting up the players for you. So, um, trust faith, it's not about hope. It's about faith. Have faith that whatever's happening, God's got you back. God's got you cared for. Don't you, don't you worry about it, boo. Don't you worry. And then we have. Uh, Archangel Raphael, which is also coming up in reverse, but I don't really serve these up in reverse. Um, provider of healing for the mind, body, and spirit. The only time angels come up in reverse is when we don't let them in. Please allow the healing to happen. Please accept that the angels are on your side and they're not really trying to hurt you. Also, please, you know, call in unconditional love to make sure that you're not calling in any low vibrational spirits. Check out that Shaman Derek um, um, uh, message that I posted. Check out his page. He explains it in depth. Make sure that what you're praying to, of course, it's all spiritual, but is really got your back or is really aligned with unconditional love and serves unconditional love because they will block things from you you know, they will block everything from you because they're, they're in part fear as well. And so they're just serving your fear. But something that's connected to unconditional love won't serve your fear. It'll serve your greatest good because it's connected directly to unconditional love. It's serving unconditional love. So you want to be sure that you're connecting through something that serves unconditional love as well. FYI. And that is also goes for um, not just the spirit world. Can you trust the person you're talking to? Can you trust that friend? You know, there's there's a little bit of shadiness up in here somewhere, somehow, where the message was twisted somehow. So understand that can happen on the spiritual plane, that can happen on the digital plane, that can happen in, in the 3D, right? So be sure that who you're talking to really has your best interest at heart. Um, and then I will pray. God always has your best interest at heart. So please do take a little time for prayer. And I will rejoice because God is listening. Unconditional love is listening. And it will bring you back to a sense of, it's not that I'm just going to get what I want. It will bring you back to praise. It will bring you back to rejoicing. It will bring you back to happiness. It will bring you back to a beautiful sense of worthiness and loving yourself. So pray and prayer will help you find that joy again inside yourself. And rejoicing is just simply sharing joy, right? It's letting your, um, yay, Tuesdays are Scorpio day. It's helping you share your joy. Truth be told, the truth is coming to you. Don't you worry. Please don't worry. 
The truth is coming to you. Building blocks. You have to build on the truth. You can't build on pretty little lies, right? You can't build on bullshit. You have to build on the truth. The truth is coming to you, so wait. I know you want to start building now, but you got to wait for the truth. The truth is coming. I love these cards. The truth is coming. Higher power. The truth is being sent to you. God has your back. Do not worry. Please don't worry. The truth is coming. And the truth is coming out. Truth be told. That's what it says. Ugh. Truth be told. The truth is going to be told. Amber, give it to God. That's the one that comes out. Give it to God. Take a deep breath. And on the exhale, release this situation to God for healing and answers. God will send you the answers. Would be nice to get what I want, though. I know. Tell me about it. <clears throat> <clears throat> We don't always want what's good for us, though. Dude, I wanted cheesecake over this weekend. I had it. Not saying it's good for me. It was good, though. <laughs> but it wasn't good for me. I'm still on Lipitor. Um, sacred knowledge. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Feel the peace within. Beyond your truth lies your... Beyond your thoughts lies your eternal truth. The I am presence of eternal love mm. he wants six numbers oh the best way to focus on abundance like that Teresa is to focus on the abundance you already have in your life you know what I'm saying it's like it's like to really just completely be totally and completely wrapped in how happy and glorious you have your life right now like, not only are my bills are paid, I got extra money, I'm, I, I love my wife, I'm, I'm in the best possible situation. I, like, all of those things are, are what you focus on. You don't actually focus on winning the lotto. You focus on abundance, and abundance comes to you. That's what happens. It's like focusing on I want is actually focusing on I don't have. Because you only want what you don't have. So when, so it's, it's an energy is tricky that way because the universe responds to energy and where you place your focus, not where you even place your words, right? So if you're placing your focus on the, I want, I want your, your focus on, I don't have. So the universe is going to give you more of not having because that's what you're calling in. So what you have to focus on is I have, I have, I have, what do I have? And when you focus on that, that's when you start to generate more. So that's the secret there. Whether it's coming through the lottery or something else, doesn't really matter. It's I have, I have, I have, and it'll come to you somehow. In weird ways, too. I'm a happy bitch. That's that's like the high vibration. Like that's the lottery, that's the lottery winning attitude. It's like I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm fucking happy. And that just keeps attracting more happy. Um, the unknown. Do not fear the unknown. This is a time of deep exploration and transformation. Unfamiliar territory leads to new horizons. There you go, baby boo. I love you guys. I'm going to get offline because I had a shit ton of work to do. This is a very busy week. Thank you to all those people who ordered uh, personal readings, but that does intensify the workload. So thank you so much. And I will definitely uh, see you guys tomorrow. Any questions or comments you have? Questions are better. You don't leave it in the comments. I just, I can't read all the comments on YouTube or uh, even on Instagram sometimes. So um, if you have any questions regarding the website services, anything like that, um, email them directly to me. They're always the best, especially stuff concerning like Vimeo, something's not functioning. Um, I like to, I like to be on top of that, you know? Anyway, I love you so much, guys. Thank you so much once again. Um... Um, for your beautiful, beautiful gift, uh, misunderstood. It, it was, it was very beautiful, and I'm very grateful. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.